option is actually easier than the first. Um, you could do the method that we just did, mm -hmm. but frankly, if, if it's in a basic solution and you have hydroxides, and uh, hydroxides are something you're allowed to sort of play with, where could I put hydroxides to balance this Put out? four of them on the left. I could essentially just put four hydroxides on this side, and that is balance, short of the charge. Mm -hmm. And so now I can play the charge game. The charge on this side is negative four, charge on this side is negative one, and so I need... Uh, three electrons on the right. Electrons on this side. Oh, and look. We have picked a one almost probably shouldn't have, but we have picked a particular problem where the electrons are the same on both sides, so Yay. they go away, and we simply just bring things down. Now, we need to also take a look carefully and see if anything else might cancel out. Yep. I've got waters on this side, no waters nope. on this side. But if I have four hydroxide here and I have four, then they both bye bye. cancel out. So if I bring whatever's left over, I've got the two... Let me change colors. This is going to get us confusing here. I've got the um, two waters... I'm going to bring down the permanganate, and then I'm going to bring down the aluminum. And then I'm going to make the MnO2 plus the Al, the complex ion, yep. OH4 negative. And that's it. I believe that's it. Yeah. All right. Now, I know this next one, the electrons do not even out. So this, so this is, is a little a good trickier one. one. Okay. All right, I've got Cl2. Actually, I'm just going to start at the top here. You've got... It's this reaction right here. And yep. So I see that the chlorine is turning to ClO negative. This will save us some space I'm here. I'm looking for space. Cl2 two. Two goes to ClO negative. Yep. All right, so I need to balance everything but the... Uh, everything but the oxygen, so put a two. two. here, and now I'm going to balance the water with, or the oxygen with water, put H2O on this side, and that... that I need to have two of those yep. because of the... Now, this, watch this. There's a two here. Mm -hmm. don't, a lot of people make that mistake. And then I'm going to add four hydrogens on this side. Yep. Now I'm going to add... Uh, we've got to do the char... Oh, sorry, hydroxides. That'll work, too. Solution, yep. So I need to add the four hydroxides to both yep. sides. I always do the charge first. That's why. That's right. It work, works the same way either way. Okay, and these four... This becomes four waters. Yep. And there's two waters here. So mm -hmm. these waters go bye-bye. These four waters become two, two waters. waters. Now I need to balance the charge. The mm -hmm. charge on the left is negative four. The charge on the right is negative two. two. So I'm going to need an additional two electrons here. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, potassium permanganate. And I have potassium permanganate. So that's KMNO4. And that's going to turn into MNO2. MNO2. And actually, we've done this one. Sort of. Yep, sort of. All right, so I need to balance everything except for the O's and H's. So yep. I have this K. You gotta get put a K in there. And yep. It must be K positive mm -hmm. because the change, that the substance that's changing its charge is the manganese yep. right here. There's one of the one of each on both sides, so that's fine. So we now I'm gonna add two waters on the right to get those oxygens to balance. On the right, that then means four hydrogens. hydrogens. Now we're gonna add four hydroxides, hydroxides to this side. Both sides. And then these, this is four waters right here. Mm -hmm. And so these two waters go away. Each problem we've had has been sort of two, four. They don't always that way. Not always. So I put two waters on this side. And um, now we need to do the charge. Yep. So the left side has a charge, I think, of nothing. Nothing. That Zero one's neutral. charge. And this side has a charge of negative three. Yep. So we need three electrons on the left. So I need three electrons on the left. Now, this is getting kind of confusing. Yeah. Because we have lots of things going on. Let's do a rewrite. I'm going to rewrite these reactions, so I think it's a little easier to rewrite it. So sometimes this is good to do a rewrite. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put the four hydroxide on the left plus the chlorine. I'm just bringing down reaction number one. What kind of accent was that, Mr. I don't know. It is my interesting reaction uh, uh, accent. Reaction accent. You heard of that, right? No. Mm. No, I don't either, because I make up. Yeah. Okay, and then we now have it's a like second part aspiration. Scottish, part French, part I know, Russian, I mean, part... I don't, I don't know, know what it is. I don't know what happened into my brain. <laughs> it's so silly. But don't forget I your electrons. KMNO4 negative, and I forgot my three electrons. I should have... I'm trying to center, and I probably needed more space <laughs> on this one. Oh, well, MNO2 plus K positive plus the four hydroxides. Is that a good third? Wonderful. All right. All right. All right. Now, I have two electrons in the first reaction and three in the second. Yep. So they, what's the common multiple in three and two? Six. So 
I need to make this 6. To make this 6, I think green will be our color. I'm going to need to multiply this reaction by 3. three. So this 4 becomes twelve. a 12. This becomes a 3. three. This becomes a 6. six. This becomes six. a 6. And this becomes 6. six. And we'll choose a well, green works too. Yeah. Multiply the second one by 2. two. So this becomes 6. six. Four, Four, two, 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 two eight. eight. And now we're going to add them. But we do have an issue when we add them. Is mm -hmm. that not only do the electrons cancel, six electrons cancel here, and they cancel here, but I also have hydroxides. Waters and add some water. All right, yeah, so let's do the hydroxides first. I have four hydroxides, mm, 12 hydroxides 12. here, and eight. So the Kay. net effect is I'm going to have four hydroxides. Four additional hydroxides on the left. Let's put the arrow here. And then on the hydrogens, or the waters, pardon me, I have yep. four waters on this side mm -hmm. and six on this side. So we're going to have so two. end up with two waters on the right. And then yep. we sort of just fill in Put the everything else. else. I'm going to bring the chlorine down, so that'd be plus 3Cl2 plus, here we have 2KMNO4. I think it's all going to fit. I'm trying to make it all fit, <laughs> yes. And then that's going to turn into, what do I have? Six, six hypochlorites. Six CLO negative. Plus two MNO twos, MNO twos and two plus K pluses. Two K positives. Now that's a complex problem, but that, is. folks, is essentially it. And so I think we need to continue. I've been working on this, and what do you think? I'm gonna get that. You've been working on what? Playing the spoons? What a Let's just what use spoons to put food in our mouths. You know what they're for? Should I break out the washboard and get a little hillbilly oh band man, going on here? Have you ever heard a guy who played the washboard? Who's really get a big old jug. I don't know. All right. We'll see you in class, guys. Bye-bye.